gate. Hey, sneak it. Here to buy something? Hey, Deacon. Hattie carved it herself. It's beautiful, right? Thanks. Yeah, it was a piece of redwood that Mike kept in his room. He once told me that when things settled down, he was gonna make something out of it, like a cribbage board. Wait, a what? A, he doesn't play cribbage. Mm. I or Mike play cribbage. <laughs> no, no, but that's the point. That there'd come a day when something like that mattered again. No. Oh, what does it say? Yeah, don't look at me. I just carved it. It's a, it's an old Hindu proverb. My mother taught it to me. It reads, rivers do not drink their own water, trees do not eat their own fruit, and clouds do not swallow their own rain. What great ones have is always for the benefit of others. What do you think? Well, Coming from you, I think that would have meant a lot to him. Yeah. Yeah, I think if Mike were here, he would probably say something like, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> uh, come on. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> he would have said, what the hell does that mean? Followed by, what the hell are you doing standing around here? The world ain't gonna save itself, God damn it! Get right. to work. You're right again. Come on, guys, let's get to work. <clears throat> Oh, did I ever tell you about the time that Iron Mike saw Addie and I for the first time at the lodge in front of the fireplace? Oh, this is funny. <laughs> okay, so we were tangled up. No, 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 no. We were all up in there. What? Addie. Uh, why? For the first time, and Iron Mike comes out and looks at us. This. You can stop. He had that grin on his I'm not cool. You're such a pervert. 